Hello and welcome to today's video. We are here for season three, episode number nine of our NASCAR Camping World Truck Series NASCAR Heat 2 Championship. And today we're beginning our playoff run the beginning of this week. Our Tuesday episode, of course, as usual, is right here. But of course, as you guys know, we wrap up the truck series this week by doing a video Thursday and on Saturday. So today, we're taking on New Hampshire, Las Vegas, and Talladega. Then, on Friday, no, on Thursday, we take on Martinsville, Texas, and Phoenix. And then we head to Homestead, Miami on Saturday. So right now, let's jump into the racing. All right, let's New Hampshire. Jump right into it here at New Hampshire. Not qualifying this race. No need. We can run our way to the front. We have 12 laps anyways. Run the outside of New Hampshire. It's the best line everyone knows. Clear low. Oh. Oh. <laughs> so here we go to the final three episodes of the truck series for NASCAR Heat 2 on the channel. Looking forward to... Of course, season four, where we're going to be focused purely on the Cup Series, but for now, we're working on, working on wrapping up this series, this season here. And I'm very, um, excited to see, of course, season four, because that's really been what we talked about since the 2018 DLC came out, so it's really been something I'm looking forward to, but, you know, I don't want to, like, See this one necessarily go away either. It's really been uh, pretty All fun clear. to low, run low. the trucks, bring the series to the channel. I wish we could keep it going, but ten more, ten more. Uh, things Four, just didn't wheel. work out for the update to feature every driver uh, or an update to all three series. So I wasn't going to run it if we couldn't have the up to date schedules. Or not up to date schedule, update drivers. Of the day roster, I should say. Uh, but, you know, Outside, it happens, on. but it's okay. Not, like, triggered. And I could have made it happen if I really, really wanted to just be like, hey, Clear. 2017 rosters, 2018 schedule, but it wasn't for me. Clear. Outside, real it tight. just wasn't. Uh, but it's fine. Bottom We're clear. here now. We're running, running our races and doing what we must. Just trying to get through here, get ourselves a championship at the end of all this Hold season here, of course. Get ourselves a couple more wins of you guys did not see last week. We introduced a new list where we keep track of our wins from every single series that we run, all combined into one list. So across every series of NASCAR Heat 2, and NASCAR Heat Evolution. So basically every race we run on the channel since 2016, we keep track of all those wins. As you know, we've always kept track of those records, but now we're combining together. So basically we add the wins up from the nine seasons of NASCAR Heat Evolution and the three seasons of the trucks, the three seasons of the Extended Series and three seasons of the Cup Series here in NASCAR Heat two and then when the next nascar game comes out we'll add more to that list so that's a new list that we're keeping track of and we started doing that uh in the xfinity video one of the xfinity series races uh, that we did not really sure which one but uh we did it in one of them i think it might have been episode uh um 15 15 15 Episode number 15, we started running that, and I thought it was pretty cool. So we had it for episode 16 of that, and then 15 and 16 of our Cup Series. Which, if you guys want to see the championship for the Cup Series, check out this Sunday. We're running a new championship for that. Uh, not a new championship, but we're running for the championship in the Cup Series. Very excited about that. So we only have five laps to go here in the 
first race of the playoffs here in the truck series. And uh, this this isn't actually been really good in the trucks for us. I didn't really notice until I checked the stats the other day. But we've actually had a really, really good truck series season. And I was surprised. I was really surprised by the amount of wins that we really actually picked up, so. If you guys know wins the only stats we keep track of. Uh, maybe going forward we'll keep track of stages. I don't really know. That's all I really care about. If I wanted to, I should have started from the beginning of the series. But it's really meaningless information after the season ends. What really matters is those wins that you get. Because looking back at this, the season, uh, the last NASCAR season, so 2017, nobody's going to really care who won the stages in the races. All that matters is who won. Now, the stages matter in the scheme of things. Martin Truex winning how many, 15, 16 stages he won? Sure, but in 10 years from now, nobody's going to remember Martin Truex won 15 stages. But who are going to remember is Martin Truex winning eight races. And ultimately the championship. That's what people are going to remember by 2017. You know, yeah, people yeah, are not going to yeah, yeah. look back and be like, oh, look at all the stages he won. Maybe if you, like, dive into the 2017 championship season of Martin Truex, you'll see it. Ready. But nobody's going to be, be like... I mean, it might come like a stat when a driver maybe yeah. wins more stages Green than he does in the season. But... In the scheme of things... It's not really a big deal. Clear high, get up there. Now we had a bad restart there. I'm kind of uh outside. Kind of like shook. All clear, all clear, all clear. Oh my god. Yeah, I don't really know what that restart was. That was kind of uh kind of like surprising to me. Okay, be smart out there. We're going green. Low, low. But we'll see what we can do. Outside, still there. Clear up top. Inside, good drive off here. Inside, inside. Okay, let's see what we can do. All clear, driver. Ah! That's gonna be another crash right there. Another caution. Yellow flag, yellow flag. We're gonna have to like figure out these restarts. I'm not crashing people to crash them. Honestly. I swear, some races I do, I swear I'm not doing it on purpose. Go, 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 go. Anyway, I don't care if I win this race or not. I really don't. Like, of course I want to win it, but if I don't, I'm not gonna be mad. There's two other races I can win on the stage. Yeah, it's the last New Hampshire race in the truck series, and I really do enjoy racing this track in this series. Not the other two, but in this series, I really, really do enjoy racing New Hampshire. Um, I feel like New Hampshire is a good track for the trucks. For the Cup series, no. I'm kind of sad they limited it in this, which is, uh, for me, shocking. Because I've always said New Hampshire, even though it's the track that's my home track, and I'm just like, oh my god. You have a NASCAR track that you can go to near you. That's my favorite track. Not for me. New Hampshire's not my favorite. I like Talladega, Martinsville, Sonoma, Watkins Glen. Those Outside, are the tracks right. that I like. Atlanta. All clear. But. Fantastic job out there. So Great we did get the win here. We're going to move on to... Alright, Las Vegas. Again, no qualifying here at Las Vegas. I don't really feel the need to qualify at a lot of these races right now. Uh, we're probably not going to do qualifying until we get to Homestead. No, actually, we'll qualify in Martinsville. I like to lead. I like to lead in Martinsville. It's really fun. So I'll qualify there, there but um, where else do I want to qualify? That's really it. All clear. Outside. But, uh, looking, looking ahead here, 
We have 40 wins now in the Truck Series over three seasons, which is crazy. I didn't really think that I would amass 40 wins in a series that I only get to do 23 races a season in, which is so many less than the Cup Series. That's 13 less than the Cup Series. And 10 less than the Xfinity Series. But we were able to amass that many wins in a season. And it's just so crazy um, to do that. And another side note is we have 14 wins this season. Season 1 we had 16 wins. And we were perfect through the playoffs in that. And right now we've only done, this is only the second race of the playoffs. And we are two wins away from tying season 1. So the chances of that are pretty high. The chances we do that in this episode are also relatively high. Considering our drive from the front to the back right now with seven laps to go. Clear, clear. That we are already up into the fourth position and we're down lap four is pretty good. So let's see if we can um, get to the front here. We got some time. No need to oh, like, oh. force it. That's for sure. Low, now, I've been playing a little bit of NASCAR 2005. Just sort of throw back a little bit. Uh, see a little bit of like, you know, what the first NASCAR game that I played was like. Uh, you know, I also wanted to run for a championship in that game. I don't have, you know, winning a championship in that game has proven to be a little bit harder than this championship. Now, I'm not saying winning this championship, winning a championship in this format for real is relatively hard, okay? Compared to previously. But in a video game, it's the opposite. So, the old championships for NASCAR, if you were dominant in the season, you're guaranteed the championship. But, now, if you win, you got a shot at the championship, which, personally, to watch is a lot more fun. I know the same people are like, oh, I'm triggered by this series the way it is. I personally love the changes that they made to the format of NASCAR racing the past couple of years. The playoffs are really fun. I really like it. The, uh, the stage is who's going to get eliminated, who's going to advance. That's really cool. And the, the stages, I really like it because I think it makes the racing more exciting. No one's going to race hard at lap 100 normally, but lap 100 was a point. It's going to impact your run of the championship. Oh, I'm going to race hard now. You know? Why not? But running for a championship in that game, one of the things that's hard is going from the graphics of a 2017 video game to the graphics of a 2004 video game. That's the first thing. The game system can handle so much better the movement of the cars and the track. And all that stuff. It's so hard to see the white line in that. Now, back then it was easy. Because you're used to it. But now I'm not used to it. It's like, oh my god. Where's the track? And the cars are set up differently. So they they were, they were slid out a lot on that. Uh, I don't know why that is. But the setup of my car just does. Uh, but the other thing. Seeing Las Vegas running. Because I've raced Las Vegas uh, recently. It is just so crazy. Like, the that game. Uh, even like the GameCube controller is so different compared to a PlayStation controller. And I've held this controller since 2015. This is what I've played. Uh, I've played video games with. PlayStation 4 controller is my favorite one. The DualShock 4. Uh, it's a great controller. I love using it. But besides that. Um, basically, this controller feels so much different from a GameCube controller. Because it's more to like put your hand around. Uh, on the control part compared to the control of a GameCube is like super thin and it feels really weird to hold but uh, this the graphics of that game back to that to it's so hard to see the line judge the corner it was like I'm perfectly seen that's the white line all right I'm drifting way up from me I can tell I'm center of the track but that just it moves around so much and it's really crazy when you make a driver mad at you and they just decide, you know what, I'd rather wreck in this race than even try to win it. Because uh, I was racing Darlington 
against Dale Jr. and he was triggered at me. So he decides to slam into the wall and try to crash me, then just try to pass me to win, which I think he could have. <laughs> way to be, guys. That's a win. But, oh man, that game's crazy. So I will continue to talk about that game when we go to the next track. Right now, let's go to Tyler. Here we go. Tyler did. <laughs> so, back to playing NASCAR 15. NASCAR 15? NASCAR 2005, as I was saying. Um, Hold your line. <laughs> the thing is so hard to judge your fuel. Uh, cause this, uh, good drive off here. I never thought that Clear. there'd be a time that I said, wow, this game has decent things. But um, it's so easy to see how much fuel you have left. Because it just says 10 up there. But that is little dots. And they're so hard to see. It is nice that the thing pops up and says you're halfway on fuel. Low easy, fuel. Easy. It's also weird not having a spotter. And the draft of these uh, super speedways, yeah, since the game actually uses the draft, is so hard to use. It's so hard to stay in the draft at those tracks. I mean, I really wish they brought the draft like to actually work in this, because that pass that I made there, on that guy, probably would have been pretty hard to do. Um, I mean, I have enough momentum here that I can get around him. And then I have to get back in line here, but this line here kind of would be stalling out. It's not really organized. Like, these moves that you're seeing here would not be made. And honestly, running from last place to this spot is not necessarily going to happen. Oh my god, what was that movement? <laughs> uh, but the head game... Oh, I was doing one race, okay? And since cautions don't apply, there's no setting for cautions in the series that I'm running for some reason. There's no way to change it in the fight to the top mode, which is the career mode in that game. Uh, by by the way, you can own all four series because that has modified in as well. Uh, but anyways, uh, running in that, uh, it's kind of crazy. Still the top. Still the car out there. Because uh, I know that inside, inside. oh, the trucks don't have They're manufacturers in the game either. I was like, wait, do they have what manufacturers do they have? But they didn't. It was just a truck. Uh, but I think in 2004, they had a lot of, they had Ford manufacturers in it, because they had Toyota Ford, because that's where, it started in 2004, Toyotas, in the truck. so that was the first year, so they had Toyota, Ford, Chevy, and Dodge, because you can race a Dodge in that, so in the Cup Series and Xfinity Series. Of course, at the time, it was the Bush Series. But <laughs> that game just is... Uh, right there. If there's a way that I could just record it, I would make a video on it. But I don't really have a recording way for the game to... If I did, though... Clear low, get down there. I kind of play it for the memes. If you go back on the channel a long time ago, we did play it on 2005 in, like, 2012. 2013, something like that. Hold the bottom. Uh, but, yeah, it was just, it was crazy to play it. So, since there's no caution, though, back to that, I did a race Hold where I pit. My pit crew didn't do the best job getting me out of pit, so I had to go from, so I led the race, okay? I believe Hold it was line. Las Vegas, so that's why I kind of got on the subject, because I raced Las Vegas. And... No, no, I don't think it was, I think it was Texas. But I raced Las Vegas as well. Uh, but the thing about racing Texas was I qualified in like 10. Okay, racing under the front. All right, solid, solid move. I got up to first place. Ran up there a little bit. Had to come to pit road, get fuel, get tires. You know, the normal thing you do. And then, then it got wild. I came out with about 20th. So I had 10 laps to get from 20th about seven seconds back, race to the lead. Okay. I make my way to the field. I get past Jimmy Johnson, Tony Stewart, who both hate me in that game. <laughs> they both, if I go near them, it pops up red instant saying, hey, they hate you. Because uh, there's a little bar on the side, on the right bottom corner that if you can press the A button or the B button, you can either press B and you intimidate, or you press A and you share a draft, or if you crash them, they get mad at you as well. Uh, but the thing will pop up, and their name pops up in red if they're mad at you, and green if they're happy with you. 
and their names are Bright Red. And so I take and I hit them into each other. And I get past them. So I get to the front and I'm running in about second place. Two laps to go. Matt Kenseth hits me in the little like trial little section. Because at all the mile and a half, so you do a little turn, go on a little straight, and then a little turn again. You know what I'm talking about. Um, like, I hit there. By Matt Kenseth. My car goes mostly sideways. Somehow, hit into the wall, going to about third. I pass him. Now, this with two laps to go. I'm about to catch the leader. I'm four and a half seconds behind after this crash. So, I have to go from four and a half seconds behind to the lead. I do one lap. I'm about two seconds behind him, like, we might be able to catch him. I catch the leader off of four. I go up nice to him, slam into him a little bit, and I'm like, well, I'm going to cross the line, we're going to hit each other, I'm going to be second. I hit him up into the wall, slow him down enough, and we crash across the line and I come in first place. And I'm just like, oh my god, I actually won this race. Another thing about these races that, about the game that I really, one element that I wish was in this game. Okay. What's the elements I don't really care? I don't care about the intimidate share draft thing. That doesn't matter to me. Um, honestly, the one element that I wish was in the game was burnouts. And that was something I had even up into NASCAR 15. Which, personally, I think NASCAR 15 was a great NASCAR game. And they didn't have to tear that game down and build a brand new one here for this. And they could just sort of modified it and made it really good but job, burnouts was something that i think needs to be in nascar heat three uh that'd be really cool at the end of every uh race that we win we do a little bit of a burnout uh we can sort of like debrief about our win a little bit better than me just saying hey we're gonna wrap it up so like right now we can be debriefing about this win and how i felt about winning talladega and tying season one for wins of course as we have here as we have swept the first state the first round of the playoffs so we're going to the round of six we're gonna find out who joins us right now uh, but i am very happy about that and looking forward to what we can do in the next episode coming up thursday <laughs> all right so we're joined by christopher bell ryan trucks ben rhodes and john harney Machek, and regan smith so chase briscoe Right there, man. He had, if he passed me, he would have been in. Smith would have been out. All right, so let's go. See you guys in the next one. Of course, we'll be back this Thursday. 10 a.m. Eastern time for another episode.